first in breaking election news at nine. Georgia tonight confirming a winner in the race for the White House. Good evening, I'm Sean Gables. And I'm Rick Fulbaum. Thanks for joining us. After an exhaustive audit of the results, Joe Biden remains on top, flipping the state of Georgia blue for the first time since 1992. A statewide retally found he beat President Trump by more than 12,000 votes. CBS 46's Haley Mason is digging into the findings of that audit. And Haley, you uh, are joining us with that very, you're gonna break it down for us. Can you do that? Can you do that? Good evening. Sean, what's next is the state will officially certify these votes tomorrow, but tonight's audit confirms the results. The report released late tonight says clearly the audit confirmed the original result of the election, namely that Joe Biden won the presidential contest in the state of Georgia. The Secretary of State's office said, quote, the audit does not confirm or correct the exact margin of victory. It only provides sufficient evidence that the correct winner was reported, which is Joe Biden. The chart in the audit shows a 0.1 percent variation in the statewide vote count. And the hand tally shows that Joe Biden has 12,284 more votes in Georgia than President Trump. This was the largest hand count of ballots in the United States. And that's according to the Georgia Secretary of State's office that has really gone through unprecedented measures in this first time ever statewide election audit, counting ballots by both hand and uh, through electronic means on electronic and paper ballots to get to this result tonight. All at the same time, the Trump campaign trying to block the certification of votes in a federal court hearing. A judge denied that attempt tonight. I'll talk to a constitutional attorney about that tonight at 11 on CBS 46. But for now, reporting outside the Secretary of State's office at the state capitol, Haley Mason, CBS 46 News. Haley, thank you. And